Thanks, Carol. Good job. I'll see you out there on stage. Oh, hi there. You know, when you're sitting in the comfort of your own home, sprawled out on a couch, you probably had no idea. People wait two or three hours to get in to see our shows. Isn't that right? You bet, Mr. Sumner. <laughs> That's Summers, Mr. Summers. Anyway, uh, yeah, you know what's really bad is if you've been to a theme park and, and there's tons of people in line, it takes hours and hours to get through, and then somebody says, excuse me, can I get ahead? Can I get ahead? Well, these people are nice enough to let me do that, but we're going to see uh, another instance uh, just a little uh, later right here on What Would You Do? So stay with us, okay? What, 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 what would you what, what would you do? My name is Mark Sumters, and uh, <laughs> we have a great time here. You get a chance to get an acting lesson and a pie in the face in the same half hour. And I'd like to welcome our co-host today, ladies and gentlemen, from Bear, Delaware. Please welcome Melanie Romay. Here she is. Hi, right, Melanie. Good to see you. Did, did I pronounce your last name correctly? Yes. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Now, you live in Delaware, right? Yes. But your dad works in New York City? Yes. Yeah. Now, that's kind of weird to uh, take a train, what, back and forth a couple hours a day, right? Now, you grew up uh, in the New York City area. Which do you like better, New York or Delaware? New York. New York. Do you really? Well, that's interesting. Well, you're going to have a lot of work to do today, so we'll see Melanie a little later. Go back over there to uh, Sam, our uh, stage manager. Here's what I need to know. There was a great cartoon done by Jay Ward many years ago, Rocky and Bullwinkle and Dudley Do-Right. Does anybody know what Dudley Do-Right did for a living? Does any Raise your hand. Dudley Do-Right, at your service, Hi sir. There, Dudley. Acting corporal. Acting corporal. I thought he was acting poorly, but uh, anyway, you're, you're an acting corporal, huh? Yes, sir. Very nice. Uh, uh, any reason that you're here? I'm here to answer all your questions, sir. All, all my questions. All right. Well, that's very reassuring. But I tell you, instead of spending the whole show right here with me, what I'd like to know is um, it's a dream come true, I know of many of you, to become actors and actresses. Do we have any potential actors and actresses here on our stage today? A few of you. I'm looking for somebody who would like to play the part of, uh, well, Nell. Who would like to? I need a woman who wants to play the part. You raised your hand. You want, You said you, you're Nell, right? Oh, sure. Oh, come right down here. You stand right over here, Nell. And I need a... Uh, Inspector Fenwick. I need an Inspector Fenwick. Who would like to play Inspector Fenwick? Anybody here at all? And I'm also looking for a uh, a Snidely Whiplash. A Snidely Whiplash and an Oh, this person over here. Uh, why don't you play Inspector Fenwick, okay? And I need sort of a an evil looking Snidely Whiplash. Oh, you sir? Come on over here, sir. Where we go? This will be fun. Oh, good. What's your name? And where are you from, sir? Englewood. Englewood. Now, do you know who Inspector uh, Fenwick is? No. Oh, you're going to learn real quick. And you said you were Nell, huh? Oh, sure. Yeah, why do you think you would make a great Nell? I always want to be saved by a nice hero. Oh, well, this is the guy. That... <laughs> Could you do that again for me, Dudley? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, and what's your name, sir? Rick. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a firefighter. You're a firefighter. And you look like you could be a great sort of evil person in a play, don't you think? Mm, probably. Probably. Okay. Well, uh, Dudley, could you take them back there, please, and teach Certainly, them their parts? Certainly, sir. You can count on me. Consider me glue. Oh, like glue, huh? Well, get out of here. Would you Us. please? Okay. Get out of here. Inspector Fenwick and Mel, and, and of course, Dudley do right. We're going to bring him back a little later. But recently, we went to the popular attraction here called Back to the Future. It's great. you got to see it at Universal either here or uh, in California. And we wanted to see how people would react to the most dreaded words in the English language. Excuse me, can I go ahead of you there, please? Can I, can I, excuse me, can I go we ahead of you We set up our hidden cameras at one of the most popular attractions in Florida at Universal Studios, Back to the Future. That girl, Kate, works for us, and if you think she looks hot, hey, think how the Jane, others feel. Hey, hey excuse me, excuse me. There's those words. You guys, come on in. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They're just with me in my group. I, I apologize. He seems okay now, but watch. Hey, where were you guys? I'm sorry, come on. I've just been waiting for What's he gonna do with that ice cream? Where's everyone else? Hey, we're right here. Well, what do you know? Where's Barb? Where's oh Misty, come on in. Hey, Tim, you're Mandy. Hey, you don't mind if I just let How many friends does she have? We're, I'm just trying to get with it. Janet! Thank you. I appreciate you being so patient. Hi, you don't mind if I just let 
send my friends in. Do you? Tim, yes, Mandy, come. Do. do you mind, Mandy? Yes, I'm we sorry. Do. I'm yes, just. We do. I want to get sorry. to stick together in I'm one sorry. group. Friendly people we have here in uh, the theme park. You know, you're out there. It's hot. It's uh, well, you know. I, I wanna, I wanna make some grown-ups uh, into some sort of animal, okay? And you'll have to tell me what kind of animal they are uh, turning into. So, is there a mom or a dad? There are a couple of moms and dads who want to bring their kids down here with us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? What? Are, are you a mom? You are. Where is your child? Home. Are you, are you friendly with this person? Do you know this person at all? My cousin. That's your cousin? Oh, good. You come down over here. Come down over here, if you would, please. You can stand right over here. Yeah, you too. And I want a dad who wants to come up here. Is there a dad who wants to come up with a son or a daughter? I'm looking for a dad with a... Oh, you too. Well, yeah, you help me out there in front. Yeah, come on over here again. You, we'll learn a little bit more about you as well. Now, they put you up to that early in the show and, and told you to call me Mr. Sumters, right? Oh, good. So you know my real name is really Bob Barker, right? No. No, okay. Anyway, what's your name? Jill. Hey, Jill, where are you from? Wisconsin. Did a nice job out there. And your name, sir, is? Uh, Tom. Hi, Tom. Good to see you. What kind of work do you do in Wisconsin? Machinist. Good, good, good. And your name is? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Where do you live? Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh, what part? Uh, Shelton. Shelton, okay. And uh, your name is? Laura. Now, this is your uh, cousin here, right? Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dress you up as animals, okay? So you come over here. You just come over here. And now I want the, the you over there on that side, and uh, if you could go over on that side. And you need to be standing on this direction. And you, sir, sir, help me out. We're going to uh, put some, uh, some flippers on you. And uh, then we're going to put these on. And I want you to try and guess, audience, what kind of animals we're going to make, okay? <laughs> Look at this. We're going to put this... Uh, can you lift up your ponytail over there? Good, like that, or whatever that is there. Good. And I'll tell you what. You try and put on your flippers right now. Could you do that? And I'm going to put this on here. Uh, I'm not very good at this. Here we go, sir. There you go. Now, ladies and gentlemen, just by looking at this, what do you think? What kind of animals are they? A penguin. That's right. And we're going to have a little contest with the penguins. Your job is trying to get these over there on your dad's flippers, okay? And you're going to be doing the same thing. What are we going to try and get over there? Well, we've got some eggs, okay? Now, these are raw eggs, and you're going to be able to roll them over here in this direction. You, sir are not allowed to use your hands, only your feet. They'll be rolling in this direction. You'll be rolling over there in your cousin's direction. This is your basket, sir. This is your basket, ma'am. For 60 seconds, we will roll those eggs. At the end of 60 seconds, we'll count the eggs. Whoever has the most eggs in their basket, they win. They will have a decision to make. OK, sir? Yes, sir. Good, good. Uh, you ever been a penguin before? No. no, no. OK, good. <laughs> Let's get started. We're going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go. OK, see if you can, you can move up. You can move up and see if you can get some of those on there. See if you can get those on your, uh, there you go. Yeah, try and get them on there. You need to get as many in that basket as you possibly can. It's not that easy. Oh, she missed on that one. We don't see any in the basket just yet. Keep on rolling them in there. Oh, gosh. Keep on sending them back. Send them back. Keep on rolling them in there. See if you can get them in that bed. That's what, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. They're having a hard time. Can they get those? There's two over there. Can we get, there's three over there on that side. Can you mind move back just a little bit, folks? Step back a little bit, step back. There you go. There we go. Oh, this guy is doing great. Can we get those to land inside the, uh, the basket? Time is running down. What do we have? 15 seconds. 15 seconds. They're continually putting those eggs in that container. The one with the most eggs will indeed be the winner. Stop right there. Stop right there. Could you come around on this side, sir, and stand next to your daughter? And uh, could you stand over here next to your cousin, right down in this direction? Now, this was your basket over here, right? Yes. Let's see how many eggs we got. Could you step around here so we can take a look? Good. We have one, two, three, four, uh, actually five. I just broke it. Six, seven. You actually got eight eggs. Very good. That's good. Now, if you have eight eggs, we have a tie, one more gives you the win. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are the winning team. Congratulations. And uh, I feel that's what we have time for. You guys are going to get tokens to go to the Wall O stuff. And uh, our congratulations for participating. And uh, we're going to come back with lots more. What would you do right after we do this? pretend a little bit now that we're in a typical American living room. And, uh, Whoa, boss! Hold on, deadly 
watch out for that. Never mind. Uh, hi there. Dudley do right to the rescue. Yeah, I noticed that. Thanks, Dudley, uh, for being here. Um, stick around, would you please? Uh, you know, I meant behind stage. We're going to use you a little bit less. Shouldn't you be teaching those people those... Uh, Say no more. Uh, I'm off. Yes, <laughs> he certainly is. Anyway, uh, we're going to see Dudley a little later, but I've got some videotape I want to show you over here, and uh, I'm looking for the remote. Uh, well, this brings up that question. Do you, do you ever uh, go to look for a football game someday and the remote's gone and, and your parents blame you, right? Dad gets angry and he gets nuts and he says, where's my remote? Where's my remote? Does that ever happen to anybody here in our audience? Let me see. There are, here's a lady who's raising her hand over here and a gentleman. And uh, Is this your dad? Yes. Oh, good. I want the three of you to come up over here, okay? Join me uh, in our What Would You Do living room. What is your name, sir? Tony. Hi, Tony, and you are? Pat. Hi, Pat, and what's your name? Tony. Tony, you go back behind that curtain. We'll uh, get rid of you temporarily, okay? Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to tell me what he does on a typical Sunday evening in the fall and the winter. Sunday, like during afternoon. Watches TV and clicks that button yeah. on and on and on and on. Does that drive you crazy? It drives me crazy, because every time I get interested, he changes the channel. Changes the channel. That's that's a male thing. Women don't do that. I don't know. We, yeah, we do that. Now, does your dad ever yell at you if the remote is missing? Yes. He does. Well, can we have some remotes out here? Where is that, Melanie, our uh, co-host of the day? We have three remotes. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you to hide these. Could you hide one of those right now? Anywhere you want on our living room set, okay? Anywhere that you want. Now, remember where you put it, okay? And you go hide one as well, okay? That's good. There's one. Oh, you're very clever. That is very, very smart. Yeah, you can, uh, yeah, good, 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 good. And uh, let's see. I'll let you do one more, one more, anywhere that you want, okay? And, uh, oh, you're very smart. You are very smart. Okay, stand right over here. Okay, can we, can we send uh, Tony back out here, please? Come on out here, Tony. Round of applause for Tony. I want you to make yourself at home very, very comfortable. Pretend it's a Sunday afternoon. Your favorite football teams are playing, so put your feet up there, and uh, you can read the paper. Now, you're looking for that remote, and you can't find it. So what was the first thing that you would normally yell? Pat, where's the remote? Pat, where's the remote? And you think it's her fault, right? No, I think my son. Oh, you think it's your son's fault? Well, I'm going to a little proposition here for you. We had three remotes that we hid here. Mm -hmm. If you can find two out of those three remotes, you are going to get a nice little prize. You're going to get to stick a pie either in Tony's face or actually both Tony and Pat's face, okay? <laughs> but if you can't find two out of three, you're going to the pie pod over there, okay? <laughs> So we've given them an opportunity to hide uh, three remotes. You tell me where you think one of them is. Between the cushions. Okay, look between the cushions and see if you can find. Oh, you found one already. You're not in good shape, I have a feeling. Because normally they do fall between the cushions, right? Where would you think another one would be? On the TV. Okay, go look at on the TV and see if there's one over there. No, there's not one there, Tony. That's too bad. So you found one, and you've used another choice. You have one more decision to make. You tell us where, where to look. If you find one there, you get to put the pies over there. If not, we're going to pie you. Where do you think it is, Tony? On the floor. On the floor. Look on the floor. Do you, look, go ahead. Look on the floor there. Do you see anything, Tony? Look, go ahead. Look under there. No, Tony. I'm sorry, but the other one was actually right here in the popcorn, okay? What's that? I don't have popcorn. Oh, well, that's too bad. And, and Tony, why don't you show them where you hid the other one, would you please? Oh, it's over there. And you remember what the bet was? Two out of three, and you have to go over there to the pie pot. Let's go, Tony. Let's go over to the pie pot, okay? Come on. Get over here as quickly as you possibly can. Have a seat right over there, Tony. And Pat and Tony Jr., I just want you to come over here and just uh, relish in the thought that uh, you're finally getting even with him for all these times that he's punished you for doing this. All right, audience, what'd you say? I love this. You love this. Good. On the count of three, let's see what happens. Ready, audience? One, two, three. Here's pie number one, pie number two, pie number three, four. Yes, we got him good there, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much. Great. You know, uh, in a minute, we're going to give a new twist to the classic story of Dudley Do-Right, but before our acting class makes its debut, it's time to do a little teamwork. I'm looking for a family that has a couple of kids who wants to come down here. Uh, a couple of kids, who, who wants to come down here? Somebody with, uh, oh my gosh. Now, who are you here with? How many people are you here with? You and who else? These, all of you? Okay, can I use the three? You stay right here right now. We'll use a little bit later, but can you come up here just for a second? Yeah, you and, uh, yes, come on. Yeah. yeah. Could you just line up in a line over here? And I'm looking for another family of four. Another family of four.
four. Oh, we look like we have an interesting family, sir. You have yeah, two kids and a mom. Yeah, come on over here. This is good. This is really good. We're going to line up like this, folks. Line up just like this. There we go. Dad, you go closest to that bat. And then right here, sir. And then right over here. And finally, Mom, I want you next to me. What is your name? Marlena Woodman. Hi. And you are? I'm Craig. You are? David. And you are? Leland. Oh, good. Let's find out. Can you guys line up the same direction just like over here? Hi. And uh, you are? Cindy. And you are? Paul. And you are? Clay. And you are? Peter. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to have a pie brigade. When I say go, you pick up as much pie as you possibly can, put it in your hands, hand it over to your son, who hands it to this gentleman, who hands it to this lady, and puts it in here. You'll be doing the same thing. You'll have 30 seconds to put as much pie in here as possible. We'll then weigh them, and we'll see what happens. So good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Can we get these pies to move over here as quickly as possible? You're going to have to move a lot faster than that for 30 seconds. Put as much pie filling in the pies. And, uh, boy, this is getting a little bit messy here. Come on, guys. It's getting melty. It's getting disgusting. We've got uh, just about 10 seconds remaining. You're going to have to move a lot faster than that. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop right there. Stop right there. No more. No more. We're going to come back. We're going to weigh these pies. We're going to see who has the heaviest pie, and they have a, a surprise in store for them. So still we are right here on What Would You Do? trying to uh, fill a pie, and uh, we're going to try and find out who the winner is. So, Melanie, can you help me lift this up over here? And uh, we're going to put it on our scale, and you can let go there. Let's see how much this one weighs. 17 and a half pounds, okay? We want to get rid of this one, and if this weighs more due to, I think there's more cream in here. We'll see. Well, yeah, you think so, too. We'll see. <laughs> Not by a heck of a lot, but let's see. Maybe there is. Uh, this one weighs, okay, you want to let go of it, Melanie? Whoops. You'd like to, but you can't, huh? Yes, says, yes, there is more. 20.50. You guys. You guys are the winners. Now, here's what you can do. I have some tokens, and you can each get a token and go over there to the wall of stuff at the end of the show. Or you could each pie a member of the opposing team. What would you rather do, take the tokens or pie the other team? What do you want? Tokens. You want tokens? You all want tokens? Oh. The audience wants pie, but they have decided to go for the tokens instead. So you guys each get a token to go to the wall of stuff. And we have this nice little plan, but they're a nice family, so you can all go over there and get cleaned up. They're saying thank you. Round of applause. Right over there, guys. Right over there. Okay, well, I believe uh, uh, it's time for another installment of Master Pie Theater, starring, ladies and gentlemen, our own audience. So please welcome the What Would You Do players. Here they come. Look at Mel. And Snidely. And, uh, okay, Nell, I need, I need you right over here, Nell. You do look like Nell. And in, there's, these people are going crazy. And, and look at Inspector Fenwick. <laughs> okay. All right, so you guys know your parts, and I'm the, uh, the announcer here, so let's get started with the What Would You Do Players, and uh, here we go. Let's see. Our story begins on a gray summer day in Canada. The entire town is excited because the pie train is making its weekly run through camp. Oh, Dudley, isn't it exciting? The pie train is coming and making its weekly run. You know, I just said that. Oh, that's all right. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, but uh, Inspector Fenwick, father of the sweet... Lovable, naive, and yet not overly bright Nell was worried. That's I, you. I received a... A tip. tip that... Snidely. Snidely Wish Slash is going to try to hijack the pie train. He's going to hijack the pie train. Oh, well, no. then, I'm off to save the day. He's off to save the day, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Dudley, do be careful. If anything would happen to horse, I don't know what I'd do. Never fear, Nell. I'll save us from the fiendish, insidious, evil, despicable... Where was I? Just get on with it. Do right. Well, while Dudley was looking for the pie train, ladies and gentlemen, Whiplash had sneaked into town and tied Nell to the train tracks. Why he did this and what it had to do with this plot is anybody's guess, but I guess it just looks good. He's tying her to the tracks, ladies and gentlemen. Help! 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 Stop your wife. 
The engineer will see you. Ah! Then he will stop the train and I will get all the pies. Oh no! You fiend! But as the train roared toward Nell, ta da! Dudley rode to the rescue! Oh, Don! I never was much good with knots. Guess it's good I brought these. Huh. Stay, horse. Oh, there it is. Cut right to the... There. My hero. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what would you do, players? A round of applause for Inspector Fenwick, for Snidely. And I must tell you, you were a magnificent nail. You were right. You found your true calling. And, uh... Thank you so much, Dudley. You were magnificent. A round of applause for all these nice people. Show them the way out, if you would, please, Dudley. Right over there. Where are we going? We're going to the wall of stuff. Who had tokens? We're going to the wall of stuff. Who had tokens? If I gave you tokens, come on down. I guess your family's getting clean. Oh, come on over here. Run over here as quickly as you possibly can. What door would you like to go through? One through 20. Door number 20. Okay, that's right over here. I'd like you to put that token right here in that slot. Open up that door and see what happens. Put it, yeah, put it right in there. And open that door and see what happens. Open it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Up, up, up. There you go. Oh, it's got a card on it. What's that card say? It says, roses are red, envy is green. After the pie wash, you'll be squeaky clean. You're going to the pie wash right over there. We have not seen that pie wash happen at all today. We're going to put on those goggles. We're going to strap you in that chair. We're going to turn you around a couple of times and uh, clean you off. So, once we get that seatbelt attached, let her go, guys. Here she goes, revolution number one, number two, number three, and, uh, and number four. And uh, let's hose her off here just a bit. There you go. Whoa. That, that's the pie wash. Round of applause for that young lady. What door would you like to go to, sir? Uh, four. Door number four, right over here, sir. Put that in this uh, slot and open up this door, and let's see what happens. There you go. Lift it up. clobbered every time of that. Who else? Thank you, sir. You go over there and get all cleaned up. Uh, you would be first. What uh, what number would you like to go to? I'll take 11. Door number 11. Okay, put that right in that slot, sir. Open up that uh, door and let's see what's going to happen today. In door number 11, it is, oh, look at this. It is a, what would you do? Zipper bottle. Pretty good. That's for you, sir. Who would be next? Come over here, Dad. What, what, which one do you want to go to? Lucky 7. Lucky 7. I hope it's lucky. Put that in that slot and uh, open up both those doors. Let's see what happens. Oh, look, it's a what would you do hat. Pretty neat. You know, what would you do? How much time do we have? 30 seconds. We've got time for another one. Which door would you like to go to? Door number 16. Put it right in that slot right over there and pull open that uh, door and let's see what happens for you. Here it is. Pull it open and... Oh, look. Oh, this is great. This is a what would you do wristwatch. Pretty neat, huh? And uh, what one do you want to go to? Number 19, you go to number 19. I want to say thank you to Melanie, our co-host. She did a great job. She comes from Delaware. And uh, we're going to see what's over here at number 19. Whoa, he got hit with a pie. We had a great time here. What would you do? We always do, though, and we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. A promotional fee has been paid by British Knives. Makers of BK Ratchtech with Cyberglow. BK Ratchtech. Prepare to mutate. And by Nestle Quick. All signs point to one thing. There's no better break in the action than to chill out with chocolatey Nestle Quick. Chocolate milk, think quick. studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios Florida.